Welcome back to Taking Action for America, National Rebuilding Day. I'm joined once again by Gary Officer, President and CEO of Rebuilding Together. Gary, welcome back. We've had a great show. We looked across the country uh, at just a few, a little slice of some of the projects that were going on on National Rebuilding Day. Um, something I do want to touch on, uh, the nation's facing an economic and a housing crisis, and it seems to me that Rebuilding Together uh, really fits in nicely to address some of these issues in our communities and for individual homeowners. What's been the response of uh, politicians as to your organization and also how have they been getting involved? Sure. Um, we have recognized that with the economic downturn has come an opportunity for us to increase the, the brand and to increase the, the awareness of the important work that we do in our communities. And before I answer your question, let me offer another perspective. Um, in the last two years, um, some $6 trillion of wealth, $6 trillion of wealth has been lost to real estate as a result of the subprime and the foreclosure crisis. Uh, we have 26 million Americans who are uh, approaching or are at retirement age who have lost retirement income because of the stock market and because of uh, the declining um, real estate value of their home. And then you have the younger generation who bought into the housing boom um, as a result of, 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 of scraping together enough money to, to find that down payment. Uh, some got into bad mortgages and others got into conventional mortgages, but simply someone in their home lost a job. So all these factors have combined, I believe, to, to reinforce the importance of a rebuilding together to act as a vehicle to pr preserve the, the housing asset in that community. In the political realm, we serve, I think, several key purposes. I think first, we offer um, our, our political um, partners a, a real solution in the community, a solution based on mobilizing um, good citizens, um, solutions based on mobilizing our corporate partners, and ultimately solutions based on having the ability to invest resources back into the community through the two factors I mentioned before. So they view us as a critical partner. No, after you, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think second, um, because we hit on so many important themes, um, John mentioned uh, the impact of falls on, on the early demise of our seniors. So having an elder falls program supported by members of Congress through the federal agencies um, is important for the organization. Um, TJ mentioned veterans housing and having a program at the national office that's supported by our lawmakers and ultimately supported by our agencies is important so that we can bring in new resources to help support and expand um, our work. And, and, and the list goes on. So for us, I'm tying in our mission, I'm tying in our practice areas to key political um, issues within the affordable housing community is very much part of our strategy going forward. Absolutely, and the nice thing is that it's very tangible. You can see the work as it's being done. You, have a, you, you see where you start, you see the finished product. And uh, as promised to all the viewers out there, they have sent our questions. And uh, we, I have one that I think kind of fits in um, with where we're headed right now, and uh, this is from Gloria. And Gloria uh, asks, how do you use my money when I donate? So people really like to know where their money goes. So where does a dollar go? If someone donates, where does that go uh, through Rebuilding Together? Sure. Um, first of all, I would like to say that um, we are a four-star rated charity by the Charity Navigator, which is one of the highest um, recognition you can get for fiscal uh, management. Um, we're also an organization that, um, uh, that uses um, only 11 cents on the dollar versus 20 cents on the dollar that we receive from our donors, um, which means that we're working on a very efficient basis. Um, every penny that comes into the organization supports our mission. If those funds are designated for a specific purpose, uh, be it veterans housing, be it energy efficiency, be it green, those funds will be directed towards those specific um, uh, programs when we're building together. Excellent. We have one more. Um, this one is from Tom. Uh, we've been focusing today on National Rebuilding Day, which is a big day for your organization. Uh, but Tom would like to know, do I have to wait uh, until next Rebuilding Day to volunteer? That's a great question, Tom. Um, the answer is no. 
Um, each year, we complete over 10,000 projects, over 10,000 projects in 1,800 communities in 45 states. Uh, this weekend, we just completed 4,000. But many of our programs, uh, through our affiliates, are year-round program. So what Tom has to do is go online at www.rebuildingtogether.org, um, locate his local affiliate, and contact them, and, and, and try and sign up uh, for the next um, uh, Rebuilding Together activity in their community. And this actually leads, we have a lot of great questions here, so that one leads into another one. Uh, this one is from Mary. We don't have a Rebuilding Together in my city. How can we get one started? I would say to ask Mary to contact uh, the national office at rebuildingtogether.org um, or call Melissa Flynn, who is in charge of affiliate relations, and, and we can offer her a, 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 a basic walkthrough of the steps you have to undertake to start an affiliate. And there are some basic steps. First of all, you have to have um, inc be incorporated as a 501c3 charity. Um, second, it, you, you ought to have a, a network of, of good citizens who are, will invest their time in making the organization successful by joining the board. Um, third, it's important to have a, a network of, of skilled trades and other volunteers who will be willing to support the organization from a program standpoint. Those are the three broad um, prerequisites, but contacting the national office to get direction how to, I would suggest, is a first step for um, our uh, questionnaire. Excellent. And this is the last one uh, from Celeste. We saw so many great stories today of families that were really touched uh, by rebuilding together on National Rebuilding Day. Um, so Celeste asks, how do families qualify for assistance? That's a great question, and it varies by community. Um, but typically, if you are at, if you are low, if you are, if you are low, very low or moderate income, which is 30%, 50%, or 80% of area median income, as in the working poor, uh, you will qualify. And, 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 and that definition is, is a federal definition based on need, based tied to income, of course. Um, contact your local affiliate. Um, they will review your application. Um, it will be taken before a, 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 a house, a, um, a site selection committee. It's called different things in different city, cities. And, and they will determine based on the availability of resources and where that person measures against others who are in the queue um, when we can get to them. But there is a process that each affiliate will go through before they approve a, a household for, for service. Perfect. Well, Gary, thank you so much for coming out today, sharing your knowledge and your expertise and all these great stories. Uh, National Rebuilding Day 2009 was a great success. We're looking forward to 2010. So thank you for being here. Thank you very much indeed, Oliver. I appreciate it. And thank you to everyone out there for joining us today, for taking action for America. We appreciate your support, support in watching and also in volunteering and donating your time and money. We would like to say thank you to Congressman Al Green of Houston, Texas, Congressman Joe Donnelly of South Bend, Indiana, as well as Senator Christopher Dodd of Connecticut for su their support over the weekend. Remember to check out rebuildingtogether.org to get involved, to donate money, and uh, to find out more about this wonderful organization. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next year for National Rebuilding Day 2010.